panic, yeah, yeah. Mac daddy causing damage, better call the paramedics, yeah, yeah. 49 is to the top, I can't let nobody come take our spot, nope. I got my team on a lock, I ain't never, ever, ever gonna stop, yeah. Red and gold on my helmet, when you see me, better panic, yeah, yeah. Mac daddy causing damage, better call the paramedics, yeah, yeah. 49 is to the top, I can't let nobody come take our spot, nope. I got my team on a lock, I ain't never, ever, ever gonna stop, yeah, yeah. Listen guys, before we get into this lit face of the franchise video, bro, me and MMG just played over on the Game Day NFL YouTube channel. Click the link in the description and go check it out, bro. That joint was absolutely insane. Here's a sneak peek. And yeah, man, huge shout out to the Game Day and MMG. This joint was lit, man. No cap. Oh my god. Let's go. Damn. Stephon Diggs! Anytime touchdown. Good. Oh yep, I see it. Let's go. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, it was Diggs! What is good, Matt family? It's the one and only Elon Matt. Game back into the day. We are back with another Madden 22 face of the franchise video, bro. We are lit now. Oh my God, bro. Listen, bro. Life is literally about choices, bro. Life is literally about choices. The choices you make determine where you are going to be in the future and what type of person you are going to leave off to be when you are gone out of this world, bro. D freaking decisions bruh i made a decision in 2019 to quit my job and do a podcast with td barrett bruh he made a decision to pay me more than my job was paying me for i can do that bruh we made a decision to start this podcast together i made a decision to quit music and pursue youtube bruh he made a decision to fly me out to la and show me the luxury lifestyle of YouTubers. And I made a decision based off of what I seen. So I said, I want this lifestyle, bro. And I made a decision to grind for it, bro. Decisions. Now I'm here, bro. Living in this big old crib. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in the hood no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? My mom doing shit. I'm taking care of my family, bro. All off of the choices I made in 2019. Imagine if I didn't quit my job. Imagine if I stayed at Dollar General working $7.25 an hour, bro. Imagine, bro. Imagine if I didn't quit YouTube because my pride was too high and I wanted to be a rapper and music never worked out, bro. Imagine if T.D. Barrett never played me, bro. Imagine if he never came up to me and said, yo, let's start a podcast. Quit your job, bro. I'm, I'm going to try to put you on, bro. Imagine if I didn't take his help and run with it, bro. Decisions, bro. Deep freaking decisions. All that being said, bro. Smash that like and that sub, bro. Listen, bro. Yes, you. Like, there's a big portion of you who literally smash the like button and I love it. But, bro, I'm trying to have one of those support systems, one of those fan bases, one of those families that literally, like, our likes are insane, bro. Come on, bro. There's literally no more dislike button, bro. Like, so there's no point of disliking in that video. Go ahead and smash the like button, bro. Let's get 10,000 likes on this video. If you're on your TV, scroll down and go to like. If you're on your computer, go to like. If you're on your phone, like the video, bro. Show me that y'all care, bro. Let's make this a lit, 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 lit support system, bro. 10,000 likes. I know y'all can do it, bro. I be seeing other YouTubers, bro, going crazy with the likes, bro. Come on, y'all don't love me or something, bro. And we're going to 500,000 subscribers, but boom. Take a look at the screen, bro. So let me explain what's going on for some of you guys who don't know. If you don't know, you're literally living under a rock. If you didn't watch the Super Bowl episode or any of the last episodes, pause this video. <laughs> Go back to face it. Type in Eli Mack, Madden 22, face of the franchise, hashtag one, number one, and watch all the way one, all the way up. I think we're on like 47 or something. Watch all of those and then come back to this video. And when you do, I'm going to give you a kiss, I promise. So y'all see, bro. I have number one on my jersey. Now, you guys know the number on my jersey represents the amount of Super Bowl rings I have. We now have two rings. We literally beat the Jaguars in the Super Bowl. But I'm going to tell you why that's so crazy. The Jaguars literally were 17-0. and 0. Akeem, you can zoom in on that. 17-0 in the season. That means they've never lost. They won every game. They won every playoff game. They made it all the way to the Super Bowl against me, MD3, in the freaking 49ers, and lost to us. We're the only team that beat them this season, bro. In the Super Bowl, too, which is crazy. Also, another crazy thing is you guys know the Jaguars is the team that drafted me, bro. That's the original team I ever played for, bro. That is my old team. I literally played for them like two seasons ago, bro. The Jaguars, I just played for them, bro. And I won a Super Bowl with them. That's I got the number one on my jersey. I earned it with the Jaguars, bro. And as soon as I leave, they want to go 17 and 0 and be super great without me, bro. Are they are they stupid? Are, seriously? Come on, man. That's crazy, bro. So you guys know the Jaguars is my old team. They won 17 0. We came out and we beat them 28 to 18. What a freaking game. Boom, bro. Take a look at this, bro. This right here is literally the freaking playoff bracket, bro. And just take a look at all the good, great teams that got eliminated, bro. If you look, bro, the Eagles lost to the Cowboys, got eliminated. The Vikings lost, got blown out by the Packers, bro. The freaking Rams, which is a really, really, really good team, lost to the Buccaneers. Then the Buccaneers came out and played the freaking Green Bay Packers and beat them. The Packers got eliminated. Then us, the four downs, we eliminated the freaking Cowboys, bro. Then we played the freaking Tom Brady and the Bucks, the freaking goaded team, 
Beat them 34 to 42, a super high scoring game. If you look on the freaking other side, bro, on the freak, is that the, yeah, the AFC? The Colts got taken out by the Ravens, bro. The freak, oh my God, a close 28 to 26 game. The Raiders got taken out by the freaking Chargers. The Dolphins, of course, I don't know how they was even in the playoffs, but they lost to the Chiefs, of course. Then the Chiefs came out 31 to 14 and beat Lamar Action Jackson and the Ravens in pretty much a blowout, which is insane. Then the Jaguars, bro. Jacksonville Jaguars going crazy. Beat the freaking Chargers 24 to 17. Then the freaking Jaguars came out and beat the Chiefs 38 to 31, which is freaking insane. And then at Super Bowl, we won 28 to 18. 10 point game. Pretty close game, but pretty, you know, it wasn't a blow and it wasn't super close, bro. But it was a good game, bro. Nevertheless, that was absolutely insane, bro. You guys seen the yearly rewards in the last episode. Let me just refresh you guys. You guys don't know. And freaking MD3 won MVP, which is weird because I threw like 43 picks, so I don't know how I did it, but I won MVP. Our coach, Cal Shanahan, came in second place for coach of the year the jaguars coach urban meyer freaking got it and then the nfc md3 got offensive player of the year and unfortunately i didn't get best quarterback Jameis winston got it i think i came in like 10th place uh yeah i came in eighth place bro and that's because i threw so many interceptions so i understand like i get it bro you know i, I didn't deserve it but if you look mccall hardman won best wide receiver which is crazy he went absolutely insane as soon as he came to my team and yeah man those are the freaking yearly awards but all those awards mean nothing you know why because we are the ones who got the championship ring bro us md3 and the freaking 49ers man so guys you know i just gave that speech bro about freaking decisions bro the next thing is coming out here making a decision on if i want to stay or leave this team bro honestly that is the thing that I'm freaking scared of, bro. Deciding if I want to stay or leave this freaking team, bro. Now, listen, bro. You guys know, if I stay with this team, I personally feel like we could go 17-0 just like the Jaguars did. And I feel like we could win it all because we have a really good team now, bro. And I really, really understand my roster now. If you look, bro, we got Trey Sermon, 95 overall, freaking X-Factor ability, beast. Like, I had to work hard for him, bro. He was literally, he started like an 86 overall, you know what I'm saying? And my boy freaking Derrick Henry left. And now he's a 95 overall, freaking better than Derrick Henry. Stop playing with him, bro. You know what I'm saying wide receiver we got mccall harman 94 overall brandon iu freaking lonnie cannon bro such good freaking receivers like i trust them with my freaking i could trust them with my life bro they're so good bro george kittle 99 overall bro and on defense bro we got nick boza 99 overall bro chris jones defensive tackle 99 freaking javon kinlaw 92 like our defense was so good bro last season that's just because we have a hell of a defense and then our offense was freaking putting points on the board exactly when we needed to bro like i honestly feel like i know this team so well the intro is so fire bro like literally all right so all right so let, let me let me let me break this down the pros if i stay with this team i'm gonna do pros and cons pros means positives cons means negative if you don't know if you don't know that's tough but that's what it means bro pros if i stay with this team i feel like we'll definitely go 17 and 0 i feel like we'll win a super bowl again and i understand this team and know this team and we get to still use the intro that is so fire but you guys love but the cons which could low-key be a pro i would have to make a brand new intro for a new team you know you guys like that anyway it's good to freshen things up but then again this one is fire so like you know what i mean i'm gonna miss it but you know you got to move on in life i would have to make a brand new intro also if i demand a release think about it bro no team might not pick me up i threw 43 interceptions bro there's a high risk that these freaking teams might see me and be like yo i don't want that quarterback on my team bro and i might literally not get signed and if i don't get signed i'm gonna be forced to retire and if i'm forced to retire that means this, this freaking face of the franchise i only have like 50 episodes and that's gonna be tough bro what y'all gonna watch bro what other youtubers doing face of the franchise like this bro continuously bro like you know what i mean you guys are gonna be bored bro so i don't know if i leave it's a risk like i feel like i should leave on a good season like yes i won a super bowl you know what i mean like so obviously i did good as a unit but i feel like i should leave on a good season personally like i don't feel like i personally had a good season you know what i mean like if you look i have 41 touchdowns and 43 interceptions like what team is gonna want to pick me up what team is literally gonna see me as a freaking free agent and be like, you know what, we wanna sign MD3. Yes, I know how to win Super Bowls. I got two Super Bowl rings in four years. So yes, I know how to do that. You know what I mean? Yes, I know how to win. But damn, those interceptions are crazy, bro. And like a lot of fumbles. Let me see how many times I fumbled. I had six fumbles, so that's six turnovers. You know what I mean? Like I didn't play too well this season and I get it. I definitely understand. Like I would understand if no team wanted to sign me, bro. But that would suck so bad because now I'd have to freaking retire, bro. But then again, if a team does sign me, what if it's a really trash team? Then I gotta make an intro for a trash team and like hype it up and stuff. But really, they're freaking trash. And what if I never win a Super Bowl again? What if this is my opportunity? What if this is my what if this is my Lakers for Kobe? Right? What if this is my Lakers for Kobe? What if this is my freaking Miami Heat for freaking LeBron? What if this is the team that I need to stay on to elevate and win a bunch of championships on? What if I need to be a 49er for the rest of my career? I could do like remixes of the intro, I guess, you know, every other season or so. Like, I don't know, man. What y'all think, bro? Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I, I really, I'm really thinking about it. I kind of really don't know what to do, bro. Just take a look at the team and all of the freaking X Factors. We got Trey Sermon with freaking Satellite. George Kittle with freaking Yakima. 
Chris Jones with freaking momentum shift. Oh my God, by the way, look at George Kittle, bro. George Kittle look cool. I like that little hairstyle he got going on. Hold on, bro, that face cam is fire. We got MD3 with freaking Gambler, bro. We got Nick Boza with Relentless. And then as superstars, we got Trey Lance, which is our backup quarterback with fast break and quick draw. And then we got freaking McCole Harbour with Recuperation and Slot Apprentice. Like we have a lot of X factors. Like, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me see if there's any other team with as much X factors as us. The only other team with as much is literally the Jaguars. And that's the team that I used to play for, bro. So honestly, they're not even that good. I literally earned all that for everybody, bro. So that's me. Oh, the Packers have a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Packers also have a lot. Okay. The Panthers have a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I get it. I get it. I get it. All right, so there is some other teams out there. Yeah, the freaking Rams. All right, yeah, the freaking Ravens. There, there is some other teams out there. Yep, the Saints. There isn't some teams that they got just as much as us, bro, the freaking Seahawks. So I can't come out here and say like we're the best team ever, but you know what I mean? I feel like we're really good. You know what I mean? All right, man, you guys see right here, bro. Demand release. I can't do it right now because it's only available in the off season. So even if I wanted to do it. So, hey, man, the season's over. That's that. Let's go ahead and advance to the off season now, bro. So we can finally make this decision. I'll be telling you guys about that big D word, bro. That big D. That decision, bro. All right, man. First thing, let's look at the 2024 season recap. Let's take a look at that, man. MD3, bro. MVP. Well, we already know this stuff. We already know all this. There's no point in me just telling y'all this. We already freaking know all this stuff. But if you look, bro, MD3, since he's been in the NFL, he's always had a yearly award. If you look, he won MVP in 2024. In 2023, he also won MVP and Offensive Player of the Year. In 2022, he also won MVP and Offensive Player of the Year. And in his rookie year, he won Offensive Rookie of the Year, bro. You guys see that, bro. But yeah, man, that's the 2024 season recap, bro. Holy crap. So right here, right now, demand to release, become a free agent. Oh, my God, bro. Are you sure that you want to demand a release? Keep in mind that if no team signs you by the end of free agency, you'll be asked to retire this character. My legacy score is a 7,447 right now, which is pretty high. I think I'm like number like seven or six on the all-time list right now of quarterbacks, which is crazy. Already in my fourth season, I'm already like top 10, which is wild. So I think we're definitely going to get a Hall of Fame, you know, at the, by the end of my season. Hopefully I don't get any injuries or anything like that. And, and we're good. You know what I'm saying? We, we keep on a good momentum. But you guys see college, LSU, position, quarterback, freaking scheme, multiple zone run, MD3, Mac Daddy the third. You guys see him. Like I said before, bro, if I leave this team, there's a high chance just because I had a horrible season, bro, a bad season, 43 picks, there's a high chance that no team might not pick me up, bro. And if that literally happens, that's gonna be tough, bro. I'm gonna have to retire. Or a team might pick me up, but then I gotta make a whole new intro and, you know, we're just on a whole new team, new jerseys, new thumbnails, new things, which could be a good thing. I don't know why I'm talking about it like it's bad. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's good. I need to make a new intro. Maybe, you know, juice it up and get you guys excited. Maybe I need to do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and stop trying to, like, do the same stuff every time because that gets boring, right? That, that, do you agree? What if I played for the same team for, like, 30 seasons? Wouldn't y'all be bored, bro? Same intro. Like, you know what I mean? So I, I, I get it. You know what I mean? If I leave it, it can spice things up and, you know, help you guys have more fun. You know, we're coming around Christmas time and stuff like that you know what I'm saying? So I, I get it. I want to give you guys a special treat. But then again, bro, I, I'm really scared to take that risk of not getting signed, bro. And if I stay with this team right here, bro, I, I feel like we can definitely, 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 definitely win it again, bro. Probably two more times if nobody gets hurt or leaves. Bro, we have a great team, bro. And if I leave and go to a trash team, I'm going to be freaking, bro, I'm going to be heated, bro. Like, I don't know, man. But then again, if I go to a bad team, maybe I can use, utilize that. You know what I'm saying? I can work, I can like work them up, build them up. You know what I'm saying? Get them a first Super Bowl in a long time. Help them get better as a unit. You know what I'm saying? And bring them up and then win a Super Bowl with them, bro. And that could be like, you know, an underdog story. I don't know, man. You know what? This is what I want you guys to do. Give me about 15 minutes. I'm going to go get some water. I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to take a rocket on a little walk. This is important, bro. I think I'm going to really think about this. I'm going to, you know, burn a rocket I'm probably going to call Makai because she's good with these decisions on what she thinks I should do for you guys. I'm going to go so. For you guys, it's gonna literally be one second, but for me, I'm gonna be gone for like 15, 20 minutes. So give me a second, um, Akeem, I'm gonna end this and I'm gonna come back in like, you know, a few minutes and I'm gonna start it back up for you. I'll sync it back up, I appreciate it, bro. 20 minutes later. <sighs> All right, man, listen, bro. After talking to Makai, I also called um, Daniel too to see his opinion, you know, my little brother. After talking to them, you know what I'm saying, chilling, thinking about it, I feel like personally, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? If something ain't broke, don't fix it. That's everyone's one. They tell me if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If something is working out, don't change it up. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing it. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what I'm gonna do, bro. I have decided to not stay with the freaking 49ers. Oh my God, I left, bro. Oh my God, I left the freaking team. Holy crap, bro. I left the 49ers, bro. Oh my God. God, you see MD3, I literally left 
the 40 freaking Niners, bro. Holy crap. You guys are probably saying, Eli, you said if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, bro. What I was talking about is, I, listen, ever since Madden 20, I always win a Super Bowl and I go to another team and it's been working, bro, since Madden 20. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. When I win a ring, I'm going to leave and go to another team trying to get another ring, bro. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I wasn't talking about the freaking 49ers. See, I tricked you up. I got you, bro. I got in your head. Clickbait. Uh, 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 uh. Stop playing, bro. Oh my God, bro. All right, now the next thing we got to do is advance these weeks, bro. And I swear, I pray to God, bro. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray that at, at least one team wants to sign me, bro. Because I know I had a bad season. So it could be easy to overlook me, bro. But I promise I'm a good quarterback. And I'm going to bring everything that I have to your organization, bro. I try to get us a championship, bro. Let me see if I can change my number real quick, by the way, bro. We're literally, we're literally, what am I doing, bro? We got two rings now, bro. We literally got two rings, bro. We literally got two rings, bro. Y'all see me, bro. Two rings, bro. Change my number to number two, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. MD3. Woo! That's when they came to see. Stop playing with them, man. All right, man. Boom. Man, we're now number two, bro, because we got two rings, bro. Two freaking rings. Let's go ahead and advance, bro. We're going to advance these weeks. Um, If I don't get signed, bro, this is over. This will be the last episode. Um, but if I do get signed, <laughs> I'm going to make it worth a while. Look for me, bro. Did I get any chances? Did I get any opportunities? Does anyone want to sign me? Oh, my God, bro. No one wants to sign me yet, bro. No one wants to sign me yet. All right, that's the first, that's the first, you know, we got to advance. I think there's four different stages, bro, so we got to keep going. Let's just go ahead and advance to the next week, bro. Let's see, man. I'm not going to look. I'm scared, bro. I'm literally scared to look. Guys, you got to let me know. Did I get an opportunity, bro? My heart is literally pounding. I wish I could freaking tell you guys. Oh, my God, bro. I still haven't got signed yet after two advances, bro. That's not a good look. Usually, teams will be all over me by this point, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Please, bro. Yo, there's only one team that wants me, and it's the Steelers. What the freak? Wait, let me advance again. There's only one team? Oh my God. But there's only one team that wants me. This is crazy. There's only one team that wants me, bro. The freaking Pittsburgh Steelers. This is crazy. I, like, I don't know what to say, bro. I'm literally lost for words. I told you, bro, it's because I had a bad season, bro. Only one team wants me. $133 million. They went 4-13 and last season. They were literally freaking trash last season, bro. The Pittsburgh Steelers, bro. Holy crap, bro. I played for the Steelers in Madden 20. That's crazy. I've never played for them in Madden 21 or 22. This is crazy. My my, my, my freaking grandfather, Mac Daddy, the original Mac Daddy played for the Steelers before, bro. I used to go to Steelers games, bro. I used to literally go to Steelers games, bro. I literally used to freaking be a Steelers damn near a Steelers fan, bro. 4 and 13, they literally suck. They obviously need me right now. This is crazy, bro. I don't even know what to think. What the freak, bro? Oh my God, bro. The Steelers are the only team that, well, I have to sign with them. I mean, do you guys want to see me play with the Steelers again? I have no choice. All right, I do have a choice. There's one thing I can do. Check this out. You see if I press B? Are you sure you want to decline all offers? You will be forced to retire if you don't sign with the team. Listen, this is all on you guys. I care about you guys and what you guys want, right? So this is what we'll do. We'll make this a challenge, bro. I want to see how bad you guys want this. Do you guys want me to play for the Steelers for at least one season? They're four and 13. Try to win a championship and then leave after that. This is the only choice I got. Or do you guys want me to retire, bro? That's what I need you guys to tell me. Go in the comments, bro. Listen, if you want me to sign with the Steelers, bro, go in the comments and spam up sign with the Steelers 20 times, bro. 20 comments, bro. Sign with the Steelers. Sign with the 20 comments if you really want me to. 20 freaking comments, bro. But if you want me to leave, if you want me to retire, bro, spam retire 20 times, bro. And whichever has the most comments, bro, I'm going to weigh them all out. There should be like thousands of comments on this video. Whichever has the most comments, bro, I'm going to go through. I'm going to look at it. And that's what I'm going to do, bro. I'm going to either play for the Steelers. I, ha I mean, it's been, I haven't, it's been since 2019 that I've been on the Steelers, bro. My last Steeler intro I made was in 2019. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to be with the Steelers, like I'm excited. Like I low key want to play with the Steelers because they suck. They're four and 13. I feel like I can make a fire intro. I haven't played with them since 2019. It'll be kind of nostalgic. Maybe low key I could probably bring back the Steelers intro, like the first one, the freaking nostalgic one. Hold on, let me listen to it. Let me see. If it, if, it, if, it, if it isn't good enough. A few moments later. Guys, I just listened to the original Super freaking Steelers intro from, what was this? October 7th, 2019. It's been over two years. Do I freaking sign with the Steelers and bring back the OG intro? I don't know how many of you guys are too new to like even know what that is. Like a lot of you guys probably don't even know what the Steelers intro is, bro. You guys probably don't even know. Literally, that's when I was on the road to 20,000 subscribers, bro. So long ago, bro. Now we're at like 460, but that's back when I was at like 15k bro like so long ago two years ago bro i could low-key bring that one back or i could just you know make a whole new intro of course it doesn't matter whatever you guys want to do do i sign with the freaking Steelers, bro that that's the thing do i sign or do i just retire bro i could retire i wouldn't mind retiring and just ending off the seat the face of the franchise 
I had a pretty good run to, to Super Bowl rings. Um, but you guys gotta let me know in the comments, bro. If there's one extra, com if, if there's 500 comments of stay and 501 comments of sign with this, you know, the retire, I'm gonna do the retire. Literally, I'm counting every comment, bro. So I'm gonna have Makai help me too. So I need you guys, bro. Let's freaking go, man. If you guys enjoyed this episode, smash the like button. It's a lit one, man. I know we're ending off really weird on kind of a cliffhanger, but this is you. This is where you guys come into effect. I'm not these YouTubers that make their own decisions. I like when you guys help me, bro. So I need you guys here. Like, literally, I need you guys to help me with this decision. And I won't drop the next episode until you guys let me know what I should do, bro. But, um, yeah, man, it's a lit one, man. It's Eli Mac. Gang, gang. See me better panic, yeah, yeah. Mac daddy causing damage. Better call the paramedics, yeah, yeah. 40